Good to be in the Lord's house today. Uh, just like to come your way this morning to encourage everybody. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Easter. And uh, me and Greg Ford go up here at Big Branch Church this morning. The folks here, let us come up here to say a few words of encouragement. Just ring the old church bell and hope it'll be a blessing to somebody. And I pray that everybody has a wonderful Easter. And Brother Greg's going to come here in a minute and sing a few songs. And we're going to read some scripture. But we just come here and just thought it'd be good this morning because of the circumstance that the, that the church bell would be run and the few words spoken bring honor and glory unto the Lord. But I pray everybody, everybody has a wonderful, blessed Easter because this is a day of celebration, a day of rejoicing, and a day of victory. But we love y'all out there, and uh, we'll be having service church here shortly. But uh, just pray, open your heart, and let God minister to you as Brother Greg comes, and I know he'll be a blessing to you today. Just glad to be here and be able to do this for y'all on uh, Easter Sunday. And uh, I'm going to do a medley of songs, uh, good old church hymns, and uh, I hope y'all enjoy it. Bless the Lord. Well, I'd like to go back to that old country church to hear the songs of praise. The people would sing, they would make rafters ring at that old country church. Shall we gather at the They shut down the aisle at that old country church in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beautiful shore in the sweet by and by. We shall meet on that beautiful shore. Then on Sunday I sing all my friends. Time for prayer. Everybody would be there at the old country church. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all along. Leaning, yes, I'm leaning. Leaning on the everlasting. So many have died at the old country church, but there on that other shore, well, they'll sing forevermore like they did at the old country church. We'll serve. Came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. 
And behold, there was a great earthquake, and the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, and came and rolled back the stone from the door, and sat upon it. His countenance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the keepers did shake, and became his dead men. And the angels answered and said unto the woman, Fear not ye, for I know that you seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, but he is risen. And he said, Come, see the place where the Lord lay, and go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you unto Galilee, there shall you see him. Lo, I have told you. Appreciate the reading of God's word, and that's why we're here today, just to remind you to rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice and be glad this is the celebration of the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I love those three words, he is risen. And we just come today to encourage somebody, I know a lot of people discouraged during this time and I've heard a lot of people say that their faith is being tried but I just want you to rejoice and I want to sow a seed in your heart today and then we'll play another song and be on our way but I want you to think about this and keep it in your heart throughout the week when the Lord descended he told his disciples he said if he'd go away if he went away that he'd send back the comforter and if you're here today or you're listening or any time throughout the week if you can feel the presence of God, if you can feel a touch in the master's hand, if you can feel the sweet Holy Ghost, that right there is the best witness and the truest witness of the death, the burial, and the resurrection of our Lord. And those three words is enough to bring shout and victory to each one of us today. He is risen. And I thank God for that, and I rejoice in that. And I thank God for every time I can feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. It brings rejoicing and excitement to me. And I just want you to reach out to him today. We're here in the church house today. I thought as the old bell rang, Brother Greg, Greg rang the bell. I thought about how it was almost chimed throughout the land one day. But friends, they ought to be chimes in our heart this morning. We ought to be rejoicing. God's in control of all things. There's nothing to worry about. Over and over, he just teaches us to trust him. And I pray this service be a blessing to you, a starting of your day and evening. But think about it and take it throughout the week. All you've got to do is feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. And that's a witness in itself that he is risen. And thank God he's ascended, seated on the right hand of the Father, making intercession for you and I. Friends, you've got the greatest hope that's ever been given. And that hope is in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We love you today. We appreciate being here today. We've got to go in just a moment to have another service. But friends, reach out to him. But if you can feel a touch from the Master's hand today, that's your answer. It's going to be all right. And I can assure you one thing. If he come up out of that grave, guess what? On that resurrection morning, we're coming up too. Yeah. And I thank God for that. I feel like I've got so much in my heart today, but I know I'm limited on time, and we've got to go. But friends, rejoice in that. We're going to live forever one day. For all of us that's been born to give and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, we've got a blessed hope. It's an eternal hope. And I rejoice in that today. Just reach out to him. All this, there'll be other troubles and trials come, but free one thing never changes, and that's God. He said, I am God, and I change not. And I want you to just focus in your mind and get a vision today, and look back and think about it. Picture that day when they went to that tomb, and our Lord and Savior wasn't there. They tried to seal it. They tried to cover it up. They done everything they could do to keep from being a witness to him. But friends, thank God today, everything written in that holy word is true. And God will always bear witness to his word. So rejoice in the Lord today. I'm so excited about the songs that's been sung. Excited to be here. But more than all, I just want to encourage you. Encourage you to rejoice in him today. For he is risen. And if he come out of that grave, guess what? We're coming up to on that resurrection morning when the Lord comes to the church. So just reach out to him. Lift your hands up to the heavens and rejoice. Because our Lord is risen and seated at the right hand of the Father. And I thank God for that. And I'll say this in closing because we just got a short period of time. If you're listening to this small video today, no matter what you're going through, no matter what you're facing, don't let fear overrule you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. There's nothing our God can't do. And friends, 
if our God can raise his son up out of that tomb that day. As a matter of fact, the Bible teaches he has power within himself to raise himself up. I want to encourage you just to take it to the Lord today. Give it to him. Say, Lord, here it is. God, here's my finances, here's my troubles, whatever you're facing. It may be addiction, whatever. All you've got to do is kneel at the cross and say, Lord, here it is. And we serve a God that's able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we ask. Reach out to him today. He loves you abundantly. He's eager to pardon. And there's nothing that God can't turn around. He is a God of a turnaround. And I will tell you, the greatest turnaround in the Bible, many through all the children of God, God turned all the troubles, all the trials into blessings. But the greatest turnaround written in the Word of God is when His Son died upon that cross. It looked like all hope was gone. Silence covered the land. It looked like He didn't understand the disciples scattered. But on that third and victorious day, He arose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And friend, let me tell you what. God is a God of a turnaround. Reach out Amen. to Him today. He loves you. Rejoice today. My, I wish I had more time. But I just want to encourage you. Reach out to Him. And Brother Greg's going to come and play a song. And if you're truly saved, and you know, Lord Jesus Christ, this is one of the greatest hymns of the church because it's so precious. And this is what Jesus came. He bled and he died for. We got up on that third day. Friends, happy Easter. Rejoice in the Lord because God's got it. And God is the God of the turnaround. And thank God for the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As Brother Greg comes, open your heart and worship with us. This beautiful, beautiful hymn of the church as Brother Greg comes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amazing grace. How sweet yes, the sound that saved a wretch like me. Hallelujah. I
as your personal Savior. I pray this be your day. This be your resurrection day. Jesus said, I am the resurrection. And I pray to somebody today, listen to this video, open your heart and realize what the Bible teaches. All have seen to come short of the glory of God, but we've got a God that's eager to pardon. Friend, no matter where you've been or what you've done, if you'll open your heart today, today can be your day. Your day that you can become born again. And I pray if you're dying, you've never asked Jesus into your heart, that you just open your heart. Ask him to forgive you of your sins. He'll come in. He'll embrace you. And friend, I love you today. Whoever may be listening, maybe no one, but if it's just one, I want you to know God loves you. He's eager to save. He's eager to pardon. Reach out to him. Those of you that are troubled, perplexed, there's no need to worry. Those who trust in the Lord, the Bible boldly declares that blessed, blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. And I pray that everyone listening is trusting. My, my, we only had more time this morning. What a service we can have. But we come by our way to ring the old bell and just say a few words and let the, let the songs be sung in the house of God. Appreciate all of those from Big Branch Church allowed us to come and do this today. And I pray that the blessings of the Lord flow upon them. But most of all, it's good to see God's house with the songs of I'm being sung this morning. We love you. But whatever you're going to, maybe you are saved. Maybe you're struggling with your faith. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you wonder. Just read the words of Red. He said, take no thought for tomorrow. And friend, what any of you take no thought can add a cubic unto your stature. God loves you. All the worry in the world won't fix it. But just a mustard seed of faith can move a mountain. Hallelujah. We love you today. And we appreciate you. And to God be the glory. And let's bow our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. We praise you, God. We thank you for this time. Thank you for your precious spirit and your presence that we feel. God, you said little as much in the Lord Jesus. Lord, we praise that you bless this. That you bless this. Use it to be a help or a comfort to someone. God, go on before us to the next service. But most of all, we thank you for the death, the burial, and the resurrection. God, we thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. And God, we thank you, Lord, on that third and victorious day, your son rose victorious over death, hell, and the grave. And the Bible declares, because he lives, we shall live also. And Lord, we'll claim to that hope this day. And Father, thank you for that resurrection morning. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.